Okay, so in this video, we're going to go over how we know certain repeating decimals equal certain fractions. For example, you might reflect that you can actually show that 1 over 9 equals 0 0.1 repeating by using long division, right? You can take 1, divide it by 9. How many times does 9 go into 1? Well, it doesn't, so we think of 1 as 10. 9 goes into 10 once. 9 times 1 is 9. Subtract the remainder. We get 1 again. Carry the 1 down here. 9 goes into this 10 once, right? 9 times 1 is 9. Subtract. We get 1 again. And carry the 0, right? And so forth. And we keep getting all these 1s, right? This, this hints at the fact that um, 1 divided by 9 is 0 0.1 repeating. So that's something we can do. But but maybe you want to step back for a moment and, and think, were you able to show the reverse? If you start with 0 0.1 repeating, could you calculate or show that it equals 1 ninth? Could you prove it? Could you go in that direction? Or are you just memorizing uh, an, a decimal to fraction conversion? And in general, how do we do this? Well, a nice approach, I, I think, is to use some basic algebra here. The typical approach to show that a repeating decimal equals a particular fraction is to start by setting the decimal that you're looking at equal to x. So this will always be referred to as x, right? And here we're eventually getting to that it equals 1 9th. And of course, you know, x equals itself. Don't get confused there. But we start by saying x equals our repeating decimal. So here, if I was proving this, I would say let x, right, equal 0 0.1 repeating. Now, in the case where the, the repeating pattern is one digit long, and it is here, it's one, 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 it's one digit, then we, get a, then we calculate 10x. Because when we calculate 10x, we move our decimal once to the right. And that's going to equal 1.1 repeating. And you can think about why this makes sense, right? If you take 0.1 repeating, it's really 0.1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and so forth, and then multiply that by 10, what's going to happen to the decimal? Well, when you multiply a number by 10, the decimal moves once to the right. It becomes larger. But there are more ones uh, to deal with. In fact, there are infinite ones. It's a repeating decimal. So really, when your decimal was once to the right, you get one point, and then all the repeating ones after that. What does this allow us to do? Well, we can think about what 10x minus x would equal in terms of algebra and also in terms of the number values. So here, 10x equals 1.1. So I'm going to rewrite this with its numbers, 1.1 repeating. And x equals 0 0.1 repeating. So all I did on the left-hand side here was write 10x minus x on the right-hand side. I wrote that in, with numbers. What is 10x minus x? Well, it's 9x. What is 1.1 repeating minus 0.1 repeating? Well, you can think of this as subtracting all the 0.1 repeating from the number. So we have 1 right over here. 0.1 repeating, if we were to subtract the 0.1 section, the repeating section, this whole section just goes away, and what's left is 1. So 9x equals 1.1 repeating minus 0.1. Well, 0.1 repeating, well, that's just 1. And how do we solve for x here? We divide both sides by 9, and then what do we get? Well, these cancel out, and x equals 1 ninth. Now, what we just did there might be a little subtle, right? It might not feel you accomplished anything, but here we did it. We showed that x also equals 1 over 9. So think about this now. If x equals 0.1 repeating over here, and x equals 1 ninth as well, then we know 0.1 repeating also equals 1 ninth. We've shown that the 0.1 repeating decimal is 1 ninth. And you might write it this way. So x equals 0 0.1 repeating, right? And x equals 1 ninth. So the transitive property, right, if these, if 1 over 9 and 0.1 repeating both equal x, then they both equal each other. So these two are now equal, right? And, and this proof can be adjusted here. We multiplied uh, x by 10 because we had a one-digit repeating sequence. 